Hey, what's good afternoon, everybody? This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a quick video on the Baltimore Orioles adding Jordan Lyles to the fold to get to compete for the rotation. Where before we move on, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video to help us grow to 215 by the end of March. That's the end of March goal. But let's get right into it. As Jordan Lyles has been an interesting pitcher his entire career. Uh, he was solid in the 18-19 season, but then you have to go all the way back to his time in Colorado uh, for his last solid season, which is only 3 out of 11 years, but he's always made the pretty solid rotational money of 5 million bucks or so um, per year in his contract, and it has to be for me because, like, like I said in past videos, whether it's hockey or baseball, and again, I recommended this article in other videos. There's a great article Chris Terrian did on the site called Crossing Broad that talks about the analytics in hockey. But I think this goes to every sport. Stats in general, whether it's analytics or regular stats, are a baseline thing to use. They're one side to use, but the biggest side is what you see is the eye test is gold. And when it comes to Lyles, the eye test, he doesn't really pass as a five-something million dollar pitcher. As a guy to be still getting chances in the bigs, especially for rebuilding teams like the, Ro or the Orioles, excuse me, Absolutely, yeah, he still deserves a chance at that level. It's just he's one of those guys that fits into a weird category that there's always a couple athletes in each sports that just continues to get paid the bigger bucks, and you're looking at it going like, where are they getting it from? Yes, his curveball spin rate's pretty good. Um, his his uh, average exit velocity, hard hit percentage, and all of that stuff is pretty good. Um, like, his analytical stats are actually solid, but the thing is, what you see is kind of what you get when it's come for Jordan Lyles, minus three of the seasons in his career when then he was able to pitch up. But otherwise, he's been over a 5 ERA, and again, I'm more of an ISA person, but ISA person, he's pitched like a 5 ERA person, other than three of his 11 seasons in the big league. So that not that great. Maybe they can, they think they're the team which it's not like the Orioles are the sexiest team at getting the most out of the pitchers. They weren't even the team that was able to figure out Jake Arrieta. It took the Cubs to do that years ago. But maybe they can be the team to zone him in and get more of an 18-19 Jordan Lyles and not a last year or pretty much the rest of his career other than the one year he also had, uh, which was in Denver for the uh, Rockies, which was in 2014. So, I mean... Three out of 11 seasons is not the most productiveness. Again, he's a guy, I think, because of the ability he has to not have hard hits off of him and not have guys pound him if he has good fielding behind him, could probably pitch to a 4-5 ERA-ish. But that's not a guy that I look at going, oh, they should continue to get the $4.5 million range. Maybe it's because he does when healthy. He tends to be fairly healthy in his 11 seasons, has been dinged up here and there but can go out there mostly every fifth day. Maybe that's why, too. But for me, this contract gets really a C-, minus, just because I think he's a good pitcher in the sense of throwing as your fifth starter, but you, you shouldn't be paying your fifth starter five-point-something million dollars. And that's all, to me, based off of his analytic stats. If you look at his average exit velocity, his hard hit percentages, uh, ex-WOBA, his uh, expected batting average, expected sl slugging, expected ERA. I feel like a lot of what Lyles gets is based off of more of his analytics. Because if you look at the eyesight, he, it hasn't spoke volumes to being a five point something million dollar pitcher, maybe a one million dollar pitcher or less to bring in, try out, see if he cracks the rotation. Sure, but for that much, I don't know. Everybody have a great, safe, pleasant day. This has been the most recent edition of the MLB Sports Fan News podcast as we talk about Jordan Lyles signing with the Baltimore Orioles. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.